Hello, hello, I'm Celaya and welcome to the first episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. So, let's play a new game here and let's build our communist socialist paradise country where everybody's happy. So, let's choose a map. Eastern Europe hills, only one map in this uh, beta version of the game. Let's choose one with population as naturally you would have a population somewhere you were building something so it's more real that way so let's choose some kind of a high reality settings so starting population let's leave it on default money amount well I played this game a few times and and I've always been playing with easy well you have a 10, 000, 10 million rubles and 2 million dollars so let's leave it like that unsatisfied citizen reaction I always keep it on small as you know this is a socialist republic people are kind of don't get easily upset so let's leave it at small however I do want to manage manage energy so fuel for vehicles needed and of course power lines we are going to have to build so let's put it like buildings and vehicles if you disable that setting you don't have to build either uh, power lines or you don't you, you don't have to care about uh, fuel for vehicles so let's enable it more real that way night and day cycle enable of course we want to see night and day building fires let's leave it to normal no reason it will be no reason for it to be frequent and let's not disable it as let's say more real this way global event feature is not available as this game is not the final stage of development pollution enabled so honestly I haven't seen any other factor it has except on citizens health nobody gets upset because of that there is no any kind of measuring it the reducing it whatever so let's leave it to an enabled year of start now by default it's meant to be played since 1970 if you go to 1960 no many differences the only difference is you have way fewer vehicles to choose because vehicles of av uh, uh, availability can be locked according to year so if you're playing in 60 you won't have some trucks or cars that are developed later so let's leave it on default 70 and vehicles availability let's lock according to year and education simulation differences if you leave it on simple well you don't have to manage education a lot while when you leave it on complex you have to let's say uh, build kindergartens and schools and parents who don't have a place in a kindergarten for the child will not go to work so you have to take a little more care about it so let's leave it on complex I, I usually play on this setting and now it's my first time recording though but let's play like that all right here we go so socialist republic paradise democratic people's republic so this is Democratic People's Republic of Utopia. Here it is. Welcome to Utopia. Democratic People's Republic. Where everybody's happy and we have a socialism. Now, first things first. Let's see the map. I like to rotate.
on this angle, you see. All right. Now, how we are going to build our city? Well, I like to start with limiting factors. Limiting factors here are obviously resources. So, let's see where are resources available. We have coal. Look at the. Let's increase the. How do we increase size of the map? Okay, never mind. So. Look, we have coal on these red spots, so usually on the mountains, here, let's say. Then we have iron, again, red spots, different places than coal. Right? And finally, oil. Oil we don't have in the mountains, usually we have in the valleys. So let's say here we have oil, as the map shows, and here we have iron, lots of it here too, some of it, and so on. Now, sometimes when I play, I like to build industries, such as coal mines, iron mines, and so on in the mountains, and I build a city from scratch nearby. But this time, I don't want to build a city from scratch nearby, as I guess most of players from scratch so we are going to introduce socialism and communism to this little democratic people's republic of utopia To need to build a bigger logistics chain, let's say, and everything's going to be a little more expensive, a little more, uh, a little harder to get, a little slower to get. So, for the logistics reason and the, let's say production reasons, efficiency reasons, I like to build the mines close to each other, and also I want to be, I want to build them near nearby some city where we can get where we can get workers quickly from the city to mines. Now. I discovered that one of the good locations to build boat mines is here, near Virav, near Virav city, in this mountain, because you have coal here and also you have iron here, which is, as you see the map, not the case in many places. Honestly, look, we, uh, we have a big city here, for example, this less sea, whatever, but we, we don't have we have some coal nearby, but we don't really have lots of iron nearby, so I don't know, I don't want to build here. And let's see where else can we build. We can build here, we have lots of iron here, and lots of coal, but again we don't have a big city nearby, only a small village with not many people, this village Vavkavisk, Vavkavisk, yes. So kind of not the best location for me. Let's see up here maybe. We have coal nearby. Not much but we do here in the mountains. And we also have iron up there. Which is pretty decent. Not a bad location to build. But the thing that oil isn't really near these places. But not a bad location. Here also, you have a coal not too far away from here. And you have iron pretty close, yes, right there. So not a bad location to build. And you have oil nearby as well. So maybe building here isn't a good idea. But I found that most convenient for me is to start near Virov. Why? Because you have lots of coal in these mountains here. And in the same mountains you have lots of iron. 
and lo lots of oil is, is also pretty near to come by so you can you can find lots of oil here or you can find lots of oil right here and what is very convenient is you have three you have two big cities here you have Virov and you have Trirov if you want to let's say uh, if you need a workforce you can easily hire it from here recruit it from here and you also have a small village here which is good for the oil industries so let's build here let's start with building mines first and let's see how we're going to build them kind of not very very easy task because one of the thing I want to achieve is I want to I want to build a construction company and I want to build industry that will have uh, that will make construction materials easily so we don't have to pay for every construction which is not very cheap I mean one building isn't very expensive but building a lot adds on and becomes expensive so I want to let's say um, I want to create construction industry first so let's start with a coal, uh, with a coal and I'm going to build two coal mines one is going to feed mainly a power plant because that's very important thing for the game and one of them is going to feed other industries such as steel industry cement industry I don't know so let's choose a coal mine here where is a coal mine coal mine coal mine all right not here mining 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 here it is so coal mine here it is let's see where we can build one somewhere near this city is not too far away here might be a good place you know what let's actually start with the construction company because uh, leveling terrain needed for the mine costs money and if you have construction company it doesn't cost money let me show you an example let's build the first power uh, let's build the first uh, coal mine here ah, good position for the coal mine yes and when it's red you can't build it of course now when it's yellow you need to flat terrain as it says here let's do that let's flat terrain you see it costs money and might not also be let's say worthwhile huh come on what's wrong you see how much money does it cost just to level terrain for the mine 2000 rubles like two and a some thousand rubles all right let's build a mine okay so we have one mine here it get the name sweet Kobe, whatever uh, can we like uh sound 3d volume sound ui volume let's decrease these sounds a little bit this hammering sounds and so on so the mine costs like 80 something thousand rubles and also leveling terrain for the mine costs two three thousand and you have to level lots of terrain in game as you have to build lots of things in the mountains but let's build a construction company and let me show you why so if we make a construction company and let's not choose the default construction office as it only have space for eight vehicles let's choose the modded one now I installed few mods here nothing game changing nothing nothing game breaking just let's say uh, some new buildings merely a static difference and maybe a little more residents can be fitted in also I installed the mod that enables me to build those village houses that were not uh, let's say available in original game and some and also I installed a mod that can that enables you to build churches honestly yes we are a democratic people's republic but I don't have not I don't have anything against the religion if you want to believe God go ahead and so on so stadium mod what more here it is monument tank monument mod bigger power plant and so on biofuel you can make fuel from uh, crops from grain and a smaller gas station so nothing get nothing game changing nothing game breaking and let's choose the let's choose the huge construction office it's a modded one it has a capacity for 32 vehicles and only reason I've included that here is that construction company needs a lots of vehicles so only eight spaces for vehicles isn't a very good option so let's build this one let's put it right here 
and let's unpause the game so it can be constructed using money so it's automatically constructed using rubles using money we don't have to have any workforce any machines any materials but it costs money not very cheap either here it is and now let's buy some machines that we are going to need for leveling terrain because when we do that, leveling terrain for us is going to be free always forever. So you kind of save pretty big deal of money here. As you see, you can buy lots of things, buses, bus. I actually I'm really impressed with the numbers of buses they include in the game. I mean, it's kind of really cool. And this is only 70 by the 90 when kind of you have all the buses, all the products. Actually, there's pretty lot of them. So let's see what we've got here. Let's take excavators. This is something we're going to need for leveling terrain. And let's choose some of them. We actually don't need anything fancy. We can buy the cheapest one, I think. So speed level is 20. Speed level is 32. They both go 18 kilometers per hour. And so on. Let's buy hmm, 22, 33. Let's buy two of these excavators. These T174 excavator from East Germany. Let's get two of these. And let's get a bulldozer. Maybe we are going to need bulldozer as well for leveling terrain and construction. So let's buy that one too, or maybe two of them. Let's get two. Never mind. Two bulldozers. Tower crane, we don't need this for leveling terrain, we're going to buy that later. Roller is for roads, later. We don't have materials to build our own roads yet, we have to build these construction industry companies that create materials, so we need to build gravel mine, asphalt factory, concrete factory, steel factory. Most of these factories first, before we start building our own things without paying for them. Without paying for them to foreign companies, let's say. Uh, we don't need a paver as well, neither this for now, just for leveling terrain. We bought two excavators, crane, no, we don't need it for terrain. We bought bulldozers, cars and everything else such as trucks, for now we don't need. So we have these four machines which we are going to need and we don't need works. Now let me choose, let me show you something now. Let's build one more coal mine here auto build using rubles okay but leveling terrain i think will not cost any money here or maybe it will but it will not cost when we do it when we only level terrain so let's check it out uh, where is the mining industry here it is all right so one more coal mine let's build it where Oh, here is a pretty good idea. Whew, lots of coal here, but... Okay, well, this is like pretty far away from the original one. Yeah, let's, let's try to build something closer if possible. Okay, I think we can build one right here. Yep, I think we're pretty good over there. Okay, so let's build a coal mine right here. Yeah, leveling terrain again costs money. And a lot of money. Alright, never mind. But, when we try to level terrain like this, using these tools here, now we use our construction machines, we don't pay any money, look. Oh, we used to use money. Huh, what's wrong? Oh, actually, what if we disable auto build using rubles and then try to level terrain? Does it cost money? No, now it doesn't cost money. Look, now we are using our own machines. So, look, they're leveling terrain, machines are on site, but no money spent. That's why I built the machines. Alright, pretty good very well so two coal mines here built now let's build some iron mines as well iron mine 
not processing place mine oh we can build it just in right between oh, that's pretty nice so let's build it between those two mines good and let's see the leveling terrain is it pay for now or not no it's not pay for it look pretty good so all the leveling terrain is done for free because we bought these industrial machines pretty cool and now let's see how is mine built construction has stopped because we haven't paid for it oh I see okay never mind well let's pay for this construction we don't have materials to make it ourselves so these two mines coal mine and iron mine will make will go to let's say a um, storage for the ores and uh, factories that make um, uh, raw materials from ores and they'll they're, they're going to make steel well this coal mine here is going to go right to the power station and also we have a village here we can employ in the power station as well all right so let's build the lines let's build those lines first for these mines and for the power stations or maybe we can build also some um, some gravel pit gravel mines so let's see what about the gravel mine da, 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 da. where is the gravel mine here it is gravel quarry all right let's build it near this coal mine as uh, they're kind of both used in production of cement or concrete or something so let's build it right here and we're going to be build two of them why one of them is going to is going to be used with coal to produce cement and one gravel pit is going to be used just as gravel for construction material so one quarry won't cover it all probably so let's build it here okay is, le is it leveled yes it is and let's build one more somewhere here let's say I think it's a good idea over here okay now one tricky part about these mines which are in the mountains is also building a good road network to them because it's not always easy task to build a road network in the middle of the mountain I think it's going to be a little bit difficult here to build a road but we'll see never mind later about it let's enable construction of these mines using money using rubles so let's see yes only rubles are used to build them and what about this mine built it come on why is this mine isn't built? Okay. Are all mines built? This one here? No. Pay with rubles. Pay with rubles for it. All right. So this quarry is complete, this one here, everything is complete. Very good. Now let's take this ore to the storage and to the processing plant. Kind of not very easy to build industries in the beginning. Maybe a little boring even, but it pays off later. So let's actually put it right away to the processing plant. Or maybe to the storage first, huh? Huh. Coal, coal ore, iron, iron ore. All right, let's take it first to the j just ore, let's say, just ore storage. And later it's going to go, and later it's going to go to the processing plant and another storage. So storage is going to be like here.
here it is. Another storage over here. this building in the mountains and another storage over here and then storage for quarry Okay, maybe only one storage is enough for this or maybe right away processing plant for the gravel let's build a processing plant right away yep because gravel is going to be have to transported by trucks and uh, these uh, storage places don't have a lots of room so it might just make uh, lots of congestion so let's build a quarry processing plant where both of these mines will feed into so okay we cannot build it any closer maybe like this or maybe like this well, not very helpful let's build it like this I'm a little bit sick I have a flu or something so don't mind sounds on my nose. Uh, come on, level it up. A little bit daunting to do all of this. But building industries and mines and these raw material stuff is maybe the most boring, I think. So let's build it right here. All right. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so let's enable construction of all of these things in rubles. Alright, here we go. Okay. Now this game is uh, just a classical city building game, uh, but it has uh, it's it really has an interesting theme, I, like a Soviet Republic theme. So I think it's pretty cool, pretty unique on the market of games. Honestly, it really deserves a credit uh, in at least in the city building games, because no similar city building game with a similar theme, I think, exists in. I don't know, this century, I think. <laughs> All right, so pretty nice city builder. Um, maybe not the best graphics of the time, yes, but uh, game really has lots of detail, like uh, uh, making uh, logistics chains and, and transportation of everything and resources, management of resources is really, really, really built in detail. So I think the game really deserves a credit. And it's also not very easy game as well to play, so it, it really needs a, it really has a little bit of a learning curve. So this is something I really really like. Also, I I come from a country that used to be a communist socialist republic, and uh, this is personally what a little bit appeals game to me. Uh, I like the game because of it because I can play like all this. Uh, old era that I used to hear about from my grandparents of how great it was and so on so I don't know I don't remember it I was born after all of that thing but uh, I, I used to hear stories from from the grandparents of how great was industry back then and everything was awesome back then and so on so let's continue building these things let's connect our minds with our with our aggregate storage so we're going to need to use uh, ramps and things like that so Conveyor belts, let's see. Conveyor can exit here, so or mine can go from here and enter here for a storage. But because it has such a big turn, 
we are going to need conveyor transfer this machine so it has one entrance over there like this okay, I think like this is going to be good I need to level it here it is and let's build another one here like this and also here okay and the gravel as you see gravel quarries doesn't uh, don't have these conveyor things so they're going to have to be transported by trucks so good road network here is very important but these conveyor transfers are important only for iron and coal okay let's did we Oh, here it is. Let's create those things. Pay them with rubles, of course. And uh, this one right here. Here it goes. Can we actually build maybe conveyor belt right away? Or we have to wait until the transfer is set? Oh, we don't have to. Okay, let's build this right away as well. So let's build it. Here it is. It catches on. Good. And does it here catch on? It does. Great. Can we actually build it a little higher? No, that's it. Alright. So it goes here. Let's put it here. Cool. Now ore mine comes here and let's make ore processing plant. Coal processing plant. Coal processing plant. Here it is. One for each mine. So oh, we can actually build it maybe no, this terrain is really, really not flat and not suitable for this factory. It's a big factory. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Come on, where can we build this thing? Can we build it right here, down there? No, not yet. No talk. What about here? I think it's too far away. Let's build it somewhere closer. Like over there, maybe. No, 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 not possible. Well, you know what? Let's do a little bit of leveling terrain, right? Why did we buy those machines for, right? So let's try to level all this as much as possible. The grass will grow up back, don't worry. Later, so... Coal processing plant... No, still not, still nothing. You can't really level those rocks in the mountains. Okay, well, let's build it wherever it's possible to build it. Here. Let's turn it around so we don't have to build a conveyor engine transfer. So here, I guess. To snooze, sorry. <laughs> okay. The sneeze, not snooze. <laughs> well, snooze with sneezing. Here it goes. Coal processing plant right here, one. And then let's build one more right here when it's where it's possible. Here, here it's pretty good actually. Nice. So one more coal processing plant over here. Or this is this is iron processing plant, right? Iron mine. Okay, so iron processing plant here. The processing plant was this coal ore processing plant. Okay, and then iron ore processing plant. Here it goes. As close as possible, why not? Come on, level the terrain up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here it is. Okay. One more for coal. Let's build it right next to this one. Oh, all right. 
very well. We already have a um, gravel processing plant. So we're good with that. And let's build a storage for the finished product. Now storage area, big storage area. For the coal right here, I think the, like this is pretty good. Okay. Here it is, so finished coal will go like here. And also iron will go here. Oh, it's not really easy to build it right there. Well, you know, you know, never mind, let's build a small aggregate storage then. Ah, you see, much easier. And let's build it, is it possible, here? Mm -hmm, it is, okay, very good. Very well. So small storage for iron over here. Let's build it at an angle, why? Because we have the output, if we build it like this, output will look in the mountain. It's not going to be easy to turn it around to go to factory. But if we build it at an angle, it's going to be a little easier that way. But angle also has to catch the output of the processing plant. So again, we don't have to build the transfer engines. I don't like building them too much. Because if you build too many of them, kind of blocks a lot of map for roads and so on. So like this is good. And one more storage. Let's see, can we build a big storage? for one more coal plant. Well, let's go with a small storage then, why not? And small storage will go like this. We're going to have to build lots of these transfer engines, honestly. this and again for one for uh, gravel can we build a large one for gravel it would be pretty useful to build a large one oh, not easy thing to fit it right there not, not very not very small can we fit it somewhere here I think we can uh, 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 no Oh, come on, let's let's level this a little bit. Can we build it now? Nah, look for how much, only for this one tiny spot. If we turn it around, no. Oh, we can build it like this, great. Let's do that. as I mentioned before. Oh, come on. Here it is. Uh, uh, uh. There it goes. All right, let's connect all of these things with the conveyor belts. So let's see, let's connect this iron mine over here, uh, this coal mine over here. This is a coal processing plant, right? Yes, and then we have a storage, large storage, okay, so conveyor goes, can, can it go directly from here to here, hill causing obstructions, okay, let's try to build it in a conveyor engine, like this, it will probably work that way. Yes, it does. It works perfectly. And it goes to storage perfectly. Very well. Let's actually take the this one. Because we might need this one for something else. It's easier to take it out from here, right? Is it? 
well not really, maybe better, <laughs> maybe better to leave this one empty, because we can go to another engine over there, and then go somewhere else. Okay, so we connected this here coal producing system to the coal output storage, and later it will go to the power plant and probably feed only it. Well, another <coughs> coal mine will feed the uh, steel producing industries and brick producing industries and cement industries. Lots of industries for one mine again, but never mind, we'll try to fill it up with workers. What about iron mine? Iron mine is connected here, right? It is? No, it, it isn't. Okay, well, let's connect it like that and like this okay and then from here let's build a conveyor engine transfer now you might ask yourself how am i going to connect all of these points with the roads well i don't have to connect all of the points with the roads that's the thing oh, pretty good because I will connect factories and the storages with roads, with road network, but if, let's say, this transfer engine isn't connected with the road, the firefighters won't be able to, let's say, extinguish the fire if there is a fire there, because they cannot come close. But even if it burns away, we're going to build another one. Easier than just trying to fit the road in the middle of a mountain, if it doesn't want to fit well. So, we're going to look into it later. And what is this? This is a production, product processing plant and the storage. All right. So let's connect that thing. Conveyors like this. Here he goes. Okay, pretty good. So, so far everything is connected well. Mine to the conveyor engine and then this goes to the to the storage place and then from storage one engine it will go to processing plant from here like this I think it's going to be able to connect that way a little tight I think it's okay works yes it does here yes it does good and then from here directly to the storage can it go directly I'm building in a way what building no, it cannot work directly. Okay, we'll transfer engine then. Uh, 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 look at that. Up, oh, up. Oh. It can go like this. Up, oh, it will work like this. Good. So here, yes. Here, yes. Good. All right. It looks a little bit awkward, but. Uh, I honestly don't know how to build it in a more organized way because we have to build it in a, on a mountain. You cannot fit it whatever you want. It it cannot all be like nice square shaped and so on. So it does look a little bit awkward. But hey, that's a that's a socialist factory. So how else can it look like? <laughs> Let's take this um, gravel here to the storage place okay hill making obstructions if we build an engine right here it will not make obstructions now it will be fine okay all right and also we can take the ore then from here to anywhere else we want it without going to the storage first which is also sometimes useful thing to do here it goes very well all right so we've set up a chain of mines uh, gravel mines and everything else. Let's actually make a roads for these gravel mines as it's really important for the supply chain. Let's choose this faster road and no need for the walkway around. Well, let's build a... well, no need for it. So, let's try to build a road of... Uh, see, that's what I was talking about. It's not going to be easy to build a road here. But what about building a bridge? Let's build some fast bridge, prefab bridge. Why not? Can we build a bridge from there? Well, it turns out we can. Huh. Cool. And then can we continue the road? No, we still can't. But let's continue the bridge. No. Okay, so building roads sometimes is... Um, pretty daunting task. What if we 
play with the terrain a little bit more. No, this is not going to be very productive. Angle is too sharp. Ah, oh, pretty good. Okay, so we managed to do something. We brought the we brought the way down from the steep uh, steep curve, and can we build a road from here? Still can't. Let's play with the terrain a little bit more. Let's level it a little bit so it, it isn't so steep. Maybe steep descent, steep descent wherever you turn. If See, now maybe it's not going to be so steep. Still not very good. Well, let's take a bridge maybe a little more, a little further. Oh, oh. The bridge will go... Oh, come on. Here it is. Here is a spot where we can build a bridge too. Okay, from now on, the road will probably be fine. No. I don't understand. Never mind. Let's break down this part of bridge and let's try to level terrain a little more. Like do a high level of leveling. <coughs> I really hope it's going to work now. No, it doesn't. What's worse, it doesn't go any direction wherever you take it. Can actually oh it does go here. Where where where, where was it? We had it somewhere here. We had it here. Okay. Can we do a little bit more of leveling? We can. Cool. We need to take it down here to the storage place. Too sharp over the sound. Okay. Nothing we can do. Well, bridge might help us here again. Or maybe I even tunnel. Tunnel too short. Uh, come on. Uh, you can go like here. Okay, little by little, I guess. Yeah, it, it's going to work little by little, maybe. Or maybe not. This is going to be one ugly bridge. Uh, hey, pretty good. Can we continue it with the road? From here to here. Oh, come on, a shot. Can we decrease it from here? Yes, we can. Pretty good. Pretty good. Here it goes. Okay. And let's try to connect the other one, which is probably also going to be a little not easy thing to do. Let's try to use bridge. Bridge might work. It might work a little bit. Pretty good for now. And I think we can continue the road from this point. We can. Okay, so both of these uh, quarry mines, these, uh, sorry, <laughs> these uh, gravel quarries are connected by the road to the storage room and uh, to the processing plant and the processing plant to the storage room. Okay, so we are good with that as well. Now let's actually automatically order these things to be built. Pay the rules. Is this going to be automatically bought for in rubles? I hope so. Let's try. What about the conveyor belt? Come on. 
Uh, it needs time to be built. Okay, let's build all of these other places. As you see, it does cost a lot of money to build these places, to build these industries, but I hope we're going to make construction industries and build everything else cheap. What's wrong with roads? Why are they white? What did I do? Uh, do I have to... Why is the road white? Can we actually build the actual roads? Uh, I messed up something here. And I'm not sure what have I messed up. <laughs> As you see, these conveyor belts aren't building. Well, can we... Huh. Okay, so I think, oh, it's built, okay, 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 so I think we plan to build this build. Good, 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 good. All right, and what about this road? Why it isn't working? Let's actually break a piece of it and then reconstruct it again with auto build feature. Yes, it will work now. Right, right, wait a second. Really? Now it's too sharp. What the heck is wrong with these things? Let's level the terrain a little bit. Okay, so can you build it now, please? Ah, very good. Okay. So we built uh, industries, basic mining industries, and the uh, output storages for it. So here the gravel will, will go here final coal will go here final final iron will go and here another final coal will go for the power plant all right pretty good actually pretty good svetkove svetkove mines svetkove mine complex very very cool really well what we're going to need here is a gas station for the operating trucks and machinery here and we're going to need machinery Let's get the machines. Let's actually choose here the fastest and the best excavator, this one. For the Soviet Union. And also one here. And building a power supply is going to be is going to be a task as well. So we built the mine complexes and uh, everything else we are going to continue building in the next episode this one is only 50 something minutes i think it's okay for one episode so thank you for watching building this complex in our democratic people's socialist republic of utopia and i hope i hope to see you in the next episode uh, like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, thank you very much for watching see you in the next one